and I am so excited for today. Today, well, actually yesterday, I started getting the garden ready for my 2023 vegetable garden, which is so exciting. I've decided I want to expand it a little bit from last year as well. So I'm going to be trying to grow more new vegetables. I want to be trying different things. I still want to try and grow things that I grew last year, but maybe a bit differently, maybe a bit more of them. And today I'm having a really good old plan and getting things set and getting things underway ready for this year and also to begin with oh horses i've lost my train of thought trying to go around those horses i always get so nervous driving around horses for some reason i don't know why yeah basically today i want to draw a little plan and get everything planned out for what i want to do for my vegetable garden this year so i'm currently off to the garden center which oh my goodness i absolutely i just love garden center trips so much so i'm heading off to there now because i've done a little bit of research there's a few things that i want to get sort of like underway already i know i can get like tomatoes going onions going i can get my first earnings with potatoes going what else was there oh peas as well i'm not sure if i want to do peas i might do sugar snap ones this year i'm not entirely sure i haven't made up my mind so i'll see what's at the garden center and i need to get some more like module pots because i want to get like a set of i think they're called onion sets and they're like really mini bulbs because i tried to do them from seed last year and it was just in all honesty i didn't have the patience for it It was taking too long i wasn't very good at it and i've seen that a lot of people actually do grow their onions from sets instead of growing them from seed so i'm copying everybody this year and doing them that way instead so i do want to get some onion sets i want to get some potatoes um i've already got tomato seeds but i think i might pick up um another packet just in case because the seeds that i've got are ones from my plants from last year so i just want to get some more just in case those ones come through because i don't think i dried them out correctly but yeah i'm gonna head off to the garden center now and see what they've got there I'm back from the garden center and that was literally like the most wholesome little trip ever It was so 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 sweet It was literally just me and a load of other like 80 year olds just strolling about looking at seeds looking at the flowers And it was just so nice. It was almost like therapeutic just like walking through listening to like the water fountains Oh, it was just really really cute But I picked up a few bits and I'm ready to start sewing now which is so exciting I cannot actually wait I'm trying to talk a little bit quieter because I'm not actually 100% confident out here speaking while I can while I feel like my neighbors can hear me talk but i just thought i'd show you the bits that i picked up before i crack on with getting some stuff done and show you what i did yesterday and then also what i'm planning on doing today so the seeds that i picked up i got a few so i first of all got some flower yeah wildflower seeds because i want to there's like a patch of stones in the middle of our garden that i want to dig out put turf on and have a little like wildflower section in the middle to hopefully try and attract basically a load of like bees into the garden so they can pollinate all my vegetables so i got this honey bee mix to hopefully attract all of those and then tomatoes wise so i did save a load of tomato seeds from last year however i dropped them all so i don't actually really have any left and i don't know if they're gonna work so i don't know if i dried them out properly and like i say i did drop them all so i don't really have hardly any left so i thought i'd pick up some more because last year i did them from little plants and this year i want to have a go at doing them from seeds these ones are so tasty we had them last year and they're the honeycomb variety so i've got a packet of those and then I also got um, this sort of like, it's a summer sensation mix, a mix of all of our favourites. So I don't really know what I'm going to get in here, but I quite like that idea that it's going to be just like a load of different tomatoes. And I don't know what's going to come out, and I thought that was really fun. And then last of all, tomato-wise, I probably will get some more like tumbling toms. Or also, I did see, we had some gardeners delight last year as well. And I saw ones that you could put into hanging baskets, which I thought would be really cool. So I thought I could put a couple of hanging baskets up somewhere. I'm not quite sure yet I need to have a think about that but then instead of like flowers coming out of it I could have cherry tomatoes coming out of it which would be cute and then yeah the last ones that I picked up were these tomato crimson blush ones and they're like big beefier tomatoes which I thought would be great for like you know when you have burger barbecues and like just chopping loads of oh, 
part of his own park. It's all, it'll, all like tomato and mozzarella and basil salad. <laughs> very, very tasty. And then last of all, <clears throat> excuse me, last year I did run a beans and oh, it was just so much faff like trying to string them and everything. Although they were really tasty, I just didn't really get along with them because it was just too much like prep, not prep, but like afterwards getting them ready for cooking and stringing them. And I just can't be bothered with it this year. So I picked up some sugar snap peas, which I'm going to give a go at this year. And apparently you can literally just walk along, pick them off and eat them, which I thought would be fun. And then I got some onions because, like I say, I can't be bothered to do them from seed this year. So I got a packet of 50. And then I got my potatoes. So I got my first early potatoes and these are Rocket. I didn't actually even properly look at all the other different types of first earlies that you can get. But these were like the first ones that I got. So I picked those up and then I picked up some more. Oh, I picked up behind me. <laughs> a load of shite so i'm going to spread that all over my vegetable patch as well so i can get that all mixed in and the soil sorted for when i get um into the veg patch later on in the year i also got some more pots so this is a pack of 40 so i can pretty much fit all of my onions in here to start with and then i picked up this one that comes with a, a lid so i've got a 24 pot here and this will be for my tomatoes i'm going to put in here because then i can it's a propagator lid, I believe. I can put the tomatoes in there. And then also I picked up just, I think this is actually two trays and it's just another tray to start things off in. So I'll fit whatever the rest of my onions in there or maybe some more tomatoes or some peas. But yeah, that is everything that I picked up and I'm gonna crack on with getting sewing and getting all sorted in the garden now. Oh, I'll just show you what I'm up to in the garden quickly before I crack on. I can't wait to look back on this in a few months time and just see that it's looking completely different from how it's looking at the moment. But last year I didn't have this. So this was all full of flowers last year, but as you can see, Mark and I pulled them out a good few months ago and that's why they're all dead over there. But yesterday I started digging this up because I want to make more space for my veg. So I've dug up like that much and I'm hoping to give it all a good twist and then I'm going to layer a load of compost over the top so I've got more space for veg along there. And I'm also going to get rid of all of this as well, dig out down here too and fill this up with compost. And then I've got two spaces along here for more veg. The girlies love it when I'm outside because they just run around like crazy but she just ran straight over my veg patch which I don't need happening. <laughs> Right, but yeah, so I've got the veg patch here. That's all been turned over. I need to put all my manure in there. I've got pots here galore. Those are all my cucumber pots. And then I've got more tomato pots. I did some beetroots in there, but I think I'll probably stick a couple of onions in there. I've got some really dead peppers that I still need to take out of there. And this is my strawberry planter as well. Obviously all my strawberries are all died back at the moment. I think I'm gonna put a bit of fleece over these just to protect them a bit so they're not gonna die completely. And yeah, so that's that under there. Then I've got another tomato pot over there and another couple of like herby pots over here this is my massive rosemary bush and then i've got mint lavender chives that's another tomato one in there but yeah that is absolutely everything so this all needs to be cleared that needs to be dug out this will then all get filled with compost just ignore this whole <laughs> renovation that all needs to go in the tip and i also need to cut back all of these as well because that's all weeds over there that's our old lintel from the renovations that also needs to go down and ready for the skip but this is how we're looking at the moment and this is what i've got to plan so i already know obviously i'll be doing the beans over there what i've got in my pots but it's just how i want to lay things out in my veg patch and also in these parts as well and then i've also got a load of other pots too which i'm going to be doing my potatoes in because i'm not going to do those in the veg patch this year because it just took up too much space so i'm just going to be doing those in big tubs but that's what we're looking like at the moment and i swear i said january and it's definitely february earlier this is a February, February tour of my garden. But now I'm going to be cracking on and like I say, getting things into their modules. I'm going to get, I've got like a homemade greenhouse over there that I need to put up in the corner. So that's why that space is over there because it's going to go in here and I'm going to put all my little pots of this in those as well to keep all my little seedlings safe for now. And yeah, going to get that all sorted, get that greenhouse stood up and get digging because I've got a lot of digging to do. What it takes to find themselves 
my Indo because <laughs> I've got my first Brutlin. I can't believe it. It's now quite a few days later after the last clips were filmed. So that was actually last, so it's Tuesday today. So that was not last weekend, but the weekend before. So it's been sort of like 10 days since I planted, sorry, since I sow, sowed, sown, sowed those tomatoes. And I've got my first little sprout coming through, which is so exciting. And also the onions have started to sprout as well. There's quite a few of those that you can sort of like see the little green nibs, like starting to come through on those, which is exciting. In the meantime, I've also planted, sown, sorry, some cauliflowers. So they're out there. I'm going to go and check on them. I doubt that they've sort of like started to sprout yet, but they're in there anyway. And I can't remember how many seeds I've done. I've done about 20, I think. So there's a lot of cauliflowers in there if they all come through. But I thought just before I go down and show you my little spruits and give you a little update of where we are at the moment, I've made a 2023 plan. Now, this is obviously going to change 150 times before it actually like gets like set in stone. But I thought I'd make sort of like a generic plan as to what I hope will happen now anyway. So I've made a big list of all the veg that I want to grow so far. And currently I've got onions, sweet corns, tomatoes, sugar snap peas, potatoes, cauliflowers, Brussels sprouts, carrots, strawberries, cucumbers, leeks, onions. Now that sounds quite a lot, but I managed to get through quite a lot. Oh, I want to do some more chilies again this year as well. I'll add those on. Um, but I know it sounds quite a lot, but I managed to do quite a lot in my first year last time, like surprisingly. And I want to carry on with a few bits. So like last year I grew sweet corns that were super tasty. The tomatoes were amazing. Potatoes, carrots. I've still got my strawberry plants out there from last year. I did cucumbers, which were amazing leeks i did really bad at but i want to give it another go this year and also spring onions again i started to grow those last year but didn't really sort of like care for them at all because i was getting too giddy with other things like cucumbers and my strawberries and everything and i just kind of like sacked the spring onions off so i want to give them a fair chance this year but i've made this little plan which I will, maybe I should sort of like make a proper like map of this on Canva so I can show you it and put it up on the screen because that'll probably be easier actually. But you can kind of see like the layout of my garden. So I've got my sugar snap peas up next to my rosemary bush, potatoes, tomatoes, they're all going to be in pots. So that's why I've just drawn them in like the little circle for now. And then I'm going to have strawberries and leeks in my planters. Now I haven't actually made that leek planter yet, but it will happen, it's gonna come this summer. And then in the veg patch so far, I've got sweet corn, I've got cucumbers, because I've seen that you can actually do like companion planting with those two, and the cucumbers grow up the sweet corns, which I thought would be really cool if that happened. So I'm gonna give that a go. And then I've got carrots next to my cucumbers, spring onions, and I've got a little spare patch at the moment in case there's anything left over, anything else I wanna grow suddenly. And then in my veg patches, like at the front of the garden, we've got Brussels sprouts growing next to onions and carrots. And then I've got cauliflower over the other side. Now I've been doing lots of research. I've got like a nice big notes page coming along like this. That's all I've done so far in like the last 15 minutes. But I'm trying to learn more and more about like what grows better next to each other. So I'm learning not to plant all my brassicas together. I'm learning not to plant like my Brussels sprouts next to my cauliflowers because they're such like heavy feeders and also they'll attract all the same pests as well. So I've tried to like pair things together that hopefully are gonna repel the pests. And then I've got other things on here like apparently spring onions and carrots are a classic combo to grow together. That's why I put those next to each other. I've got the carrots and the onions next to each other too because onions actually apparently repel carrot fly and also chase away the little aphid things. And I did struggle with those on my runner beans last year. Like they literally took over real quick. But I'm not gonna, I don't, oh, I might do a couple of runner beans. I'm not entirely sure yet. I might get a different, um, what do you call it? Like a different variety of them. Because yeah, those ones last year were just way too stringy. They were these ones called Moonlight. And although they produced a lot, they, yeah, they were just way too stringy and I don't really like them to be honest. But yeah, that's the kind of plan of action so far. Like I say, that's probably gonna change. And I really like, even watching the first part of this video back, I really wanna keep up with these videos. Like even every week or every couple of weeks, just so I can see like the progress of the garden. Because 
everything over summer like happened so 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 quickly and I realized that I didn't like document anything from last year so I've got nothing to help me for this year to like look back on so I almost feel like I'm starting all over again again so I want to really like keep up to date with these videos and make sure that for next year I've got something to look back on as like a record of like when I sewn things when I've got things out in the garden like what the weather's been like just so I can compare it to the following year but I've also figured out as well that looking at my seeds, not the sweet corn or the onions, but the cucumbers and also some leeks, I can get sewn out into pots as well. So over the next couple of days, I want to get these sewn out so that they can be growing inside with my tomatoes downstairs and get those set off early as well. And I also need to carry on digging out the garden on the other side from where Mark did the little fence for me. But yeah i'll show you my little sprudling so if you squint and look nice and closely oh my goodness it's even come up further since this morning it is literally growing by the minute look at him go there he is our first little sprudling of 2023 i'm so happy the only thing is i literally have no idea what variety it is either because i can't remember where I sort of like laid them out and I didn't label them either, but I wanted the surprise for it this year, but my onions have also started sprouting as well. So I'll go out and show you those in the garden and also the cauliflowers that I've sown. Hopefully they've started to come through. I doubt it though, because it is still quite early. Okay, so I've just checked my cauliflowers and there is no sign of them just yet. I did think it was gonna be a little bit early, but currently they're sat inside these little cloches and they will be going over into that part once that's all cleared out and they've fully grown and they're ready to be transplanted basically but over in here the onions are making progress and i can't believe how quick these are coming through we've got some proper little stalks coming through that one was sort of like about down to here and it's just like shot up massively we've got a little one coming through over here i think we've got another one here so yeah they're all starting well, not all of them, it's literally about 4 out of 40, but they're starting to spruit through. And then up here I've got another tray of soil, so I'll be popping the cucumber and leeks into those shortly. But it is all very, very exciting. I can't believe we're at this time of year again already where I can start planning everything. It's just gone so quick. And I know that's so typical to say because we're always like, oh my God, the time flies so much. But literally, I cannot believe how quickly it's come around to where I'm back to like planning everything out again because this time last year I like literally didn't have a clue and I don't have a clue whatsoever again this year but I feel slightly more clued up like I know that like certain things will grow well in the garden and I'm just hoping that they do again this year so yeah I've just got those couple of jobs to do over the next few days and hopefully I can get this garden looking a lot more clearer I also need to get rid of those stones as well so I can sow out the little honey flower seeds that I got too because that'll be exciting when all the flowers start sprouting through there as well.